A plane plunging in Pembroke Pines, leaving four people seriously hurt, including two children. The crash happened shortly after takeoff, causing the aircraft to erupt in flames. Let's get right to local tennis Christian Delarosa live at the scene with what we know about those on board. Christian. Calvin, Nicole, you can still smell the smoke. Go ahead and take a look at the crash site here. It is unbelievable. Everyone aboard survived this. Cell phone video shows a plane burning out of control. A neighbor recording this from her house moments after it crashed. The police arrived like right away. Witnesses telling local 10 news it was just past 430 Thursday afternoon. It was like an explosion like boom. We could have died. Caleb Campbell saw the plane come down plunging into Honeywoods Park where he and a friend were playing football. When I looked up to actually like see it was an actual plane coming down. So we just immediately jumped the fence jump the fence. It was the scariest thing in my life. Authorities tell us the single engine plane took off North Perry Airport just down the street and moments later it came crashing down into the park off of Jody Lane and Pembroke Road dangerously near dozens of homes. I walk in this park every morning with my kids. It could have been my house. Detectives say four people were inside the mangled plane. Two men and two kids all survived. The guy had a little bit of blood in his head. And Some of the victims first transported to Memorial Regional. Our cameras also rolling as another one was airlifted to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Loved ones at the hospital telling local 10 news the victims are a father and his two children and a source confirming the pilot is a local police officer. I hope that everyone who was in the plane is good. Neighbors like Zuari Cortiz, who saw good Samaritans rush to help the victims, are stunned and now worried for their safety. They should do something about changing the airport. So, somewhere else because it's not safe. And let us show you just how close these homes are to this wreck where this plane ended up. Again, we're waiting for an update on the conditions of all four victims, but we are told all of them are expected to survive. We're live in Pembroke Pines. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Counting their blessings. Thanks a lot.